the beginning, we were all one family. We knew of the sacred love and respect for all of creation. Our pre-dawn ceremony honors the energies of the sun, which powers our daily life. We honor our Mother Earth, who nurtures all with air to breathe, food to eat, water to drink, and a world to make our homes and raise our children. Much has passed since the dawn of our human family. Tribes and civilizations have come and gone. A multitude of creative ways to honor creation have been practiced and forgotten. We find ourselves in a time of history in which crisis and potential disaster threatens the survival of life in our planet. It is spoken that we humans must come back to a sacred path if we are to survive. We are guided in this journey to the ancient spiritual center of the Americas, to the land of the Mayans, Nachan, Palenque, Etzna, Uxmal, Kaaba, Loltun, Chichen Itza, a journey to discover the cosmic knowledge that offers the information and laws of our galaxy, the sacred geometry of the temples and the pyramids. The new cycle of the sacred calendar of cosmic time for human beings has started. The pyramids are given their information impressed within their stones where the essence of the Mayan knowledge was kept for a millennium. It is time to reopen our sacred Mayan ceremonial centers. The esoteric knowledge of Quetzalcoatl, of Kukulkan, offer all of us an understanding for the beginning of this new cycle and the solar initiation for the year 2013 begins here. In the name of the great power that is in the skies, I come as a representative of the Latin American Parliament of Indigenous, and I bring this invitation in the name of my people and of my organization. Agradezco a Dios y al Padre, Creador, Formador de todo. I thank God and our Father, the Creator of everything that exists. Me siento feliz. Nuestra cultura, que Dios nos inspiró en esta tierra, península de Yucatán, a I, nuestros padres. I thank this land that has been inspiring all our people, all our grandparents, in this precise place of the Mayab. A este motivo, que nuestra cultura inspirada por Dios es de amor, de paz y de hermandad. To our culture that is inspired by, by love, by peace, and by harmony. Yo me siento orgulloso de haber encontrado viendo a mis hermanos Somos uno, como el dedo en la mano, I, sin diferencia. I feel proud to be bringing here the knowledge to be one, like the hands of one, like the fingers in one hand, all united in the same. Dr. Arguelles, um, what could you tell Mexico, the people?
people who have inherited the Mayan blood, what could you tell them of their ancestors? What could they really learn? What could they relearn from the philosophy and the knowledge that the Mayas have left? What is there to relearn? What is there to reawaken to? Is the greatest gift and the greatest treasure that we know on this planet. The civilization of the Maya, which was the uh, highest uh, and most inspirational culture of, of ancient Mexico, uh, was the, the repository of knowledge and wisdom from cosmic and galactic sources. This knowledge and wisdom is still here. It is still here to be understood in very, very simple ways. Part of it is that it is to return uh, with an attitude of reverence to all the different places that are scattered throughout the country here and to uh, communicate with others of like mind there and to understand that the greatest power that exists is the power of the heart. And if you come to these places with an open heart, with a pure heart, and understand that uh, uh, it, is, it is through the bonds that are formed here in these sacred sites that the energy that is here is real. It is a very real energy, a very real inspiration. And that uh, it is here that you will uh, find the, the sources, the fountains to drink from, to, to renew yourselves. If you can study what there is, uh, particularly of the, of the ancient Mayan wisdom uh, that is cast around in a few books and with a few elders, uh, that is fine, but uh, that is not easy for everyone. So more important is to understand that the energy and the power is here. This is one of the most powerful places on the planet. And the richness that you have here is waiting to be tapped so it can be of service to create the new future that we need. Because the wisdom of the ancients was a wisdom that was completely in tune with the earth. And the wisdom of the path of the future must be a wisdom that is completely in tune with the earth. You have a richness here that is waiting to be tapped. Uh, but it's very important for people around the planet to get together on behalf of the planet because the planet is in trouble. People understand two things from, from that. One is that it is necessary to unite on behalf of the earth and the other that this uniting on behalf of the earth must be done in a sacred manner.